I've been thinking and I've made a decision about Renoi. Okay, so in a nutshell, I'm gonna get rid of Renoi. I'm gonna go over three reasons why. <clears throat> so if we look at his uh, highest invested, and this is my copy of him, this isn't his profile. I copied him three and a half months ago. And, and again, it's in um, the, the heaviest weighted percentages at the, at the top. Minus 59% for his highest weighted trade. Minus 54% for the second. Third's in green, that's fine. The fourth, minus 48%. The fifth, the minus 25, the six is then minus 34. So, I mean, when I first looked at his profile um, <clears throat> three and a half, four months ago, um, I saw lots of reds and I thought, that's brilliant. He's going to get that back in no time. And that's basically all profit for me because he'll see something different to what I see on my screen. And I'll make more than he would make, if that makes sense. But um, in a matter of three and a half months, he's he's gone down this much and made it this much worse. Uh, secondly, I mean, if you, after you've gone past all these heavily weighted ones, so ten dollars all the way to five dollars, you go down a little bit there, like the twelfth one, the tenth or twelfth one down. From this point onwards, uh, we just have a nice scroll here. It's all one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. No. There's so many tiny, tiny, the absolute minimum size trade, which is a dollar. It's pretty much all that that needs to counteract the massive heavy losses that he's had, um, which is working. He's making, you know, percentage percentages. He's made 8% in three and a half months. So it's good. Um, but I can, I have people that can do better. I mean, for example, Hugo that I added on like the 20, I don't know, it was late December. So it's not long at all, like 12, 15 days or something. 7%. He's, he's almost hit that amount. That's hardly no time at all. The other thing that, um, is that Renoi adds, he deposits funds into his account very frequently. Uh, well, not, not very frequently, but compared to every other trader that I've seen, it's the most frequent. Maybe every every uh, every week, two weeks, it seems very frequent. Uh, it's only small amounts, but when you're adding that much all the time, you know, I get a notification saying, Renai's added whichever percent of money you need to add this much to keep, you know, the, the synchronization between your trades and his trades. And so you just, bit, you know, I'd have to basically keep on top of that all the time, just keep adding more money into him because he's forcing my hand to do that. Uh, I understand that, you know, people want to add more money in to their account to, to get more money, obviously. But, um, you know, there's things that you need to take con into consideration when you're a popular investor um, and how it affects your copiers, you know, which actions you do and how that has a has an effect on your copiers so that's not a, a great thing for me he's adding so much all the time i mean it's hard enough because the other thing as well is that i've invested 270 270 dollars on him but he actually needs 600 so it's, it's hard enough as it is trying to get to the 600 mark uh, i mean 270 seems an okay ish number i mean it's still copied all of the one dollar trades which is like 90 percent of his portfolio but I mean, you know, he, keep, he keeps on adding money all the time and eventually that $1, all those $1 trades, eventually with the more money he adds into his account, that's going to dilute. And, you know, I'm just, there's not, I'm not going to be able to copy any of his trades apart from like the 10 worst ones and all those 90% of the, the $1 trades, which he's got open um, to like sort of bypass the time and, 
make profit whilst those big heavy ones are sort of in the red. I'm not going to have any of those. It's just, it's just going to be in the red uh, with the with the the ten chunkiest trades. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, decided not to to go with Renoi because his one his his biggest trades are in deep red. Uh, two, he adds money all the time, which is going to dilute the, the tiny trades that he does have, all those $1 trades. And three, I mean, he, he's made 8% in three and a half months, whereas Hugo has made almost that amount already in like 10 days. So um, everything's pointing to get rid of Renoi. I've got a gut feeling about it. Um, and, he, and he needs so much money. He, he needs 600 and it's just it's just not really working out um i have got someone lined up a brand new person and i'm gonna go over that guy and also some new watches that i've added today because um on the copy people tab uh go on filter so this here trader status i always just leave that on default verified i don't know why i, I just went past it i guess but you can have both of these. And in doing so, I, I found some nice hidden gems today. I think I added about 12 people to my watch list. So yeah, that's nice. I've got someone lined up. I'll, I'll quickly show you him. I mean, it might change my mind. I don't know. As I said, for me, it's, just, it's probably gonna be another day, like uh, in a couple of days when I'll record the, the next video. So I might change my mind by then. <laughs> but uh, let's have a look at who I've got in mind. So this guy, Mariko Sebastiano, S-Man. Right. This guy, there's three, there's three people I found out of like the 12 that I added that's got insane stats. S not super high risky, but high, high risk. Okay, that's not quite that insane compared to some other people that I've seen. 253% for last year. And that was only nine months out of the possible 12. Crazy. And it's all green. There's uh, this crazy good numbers. And more so to the point is that that his his drawdown during that whole time was only eleven percent. Um, and there you go, you got the steady incline here, one hundred seventy nine subscribers. Uh, sorry, one hundred seventy nine copiers with the natural organic incline. The eleven percent drawdown. I mean, another guy out of those three super high risk, all two hundred fifty percent for last year. Um, you know, the other one had 11% uh, drawdown, which is good. He's competing with this guy. But the other one had minus 19 or minus 20. I mean, I'm sort of picking out of those three. And um, <clears throat> I've, just, I've landed on, on uh, Manrique. Even though it's ridiculously high, I mean, somewhere between 70 and 120 is what I'd consider, what I'd consider high risk. But... I feel comfortable at that level. That's that's usually what, what I'm drawn to. So for someone that's two hundred and fifty three percent, that's uh, I've that's unheard of for me. I've I've not seen that high. But everything adds up. I mean, it's low drawdown. He's had all greens. He's doing something right. He's got enough historical data. I'm going to go for him. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of Renai. But I've just tested on my virtual account that he has got quite a few. Um, trades open that sort of will, will stay will stay here. I won't be able to fully close Renoi right now. He'll have some uh, some trades open for uh, tomorrow morning. So and Renoi will be fully closed. So I'm just going to start the process now. It's uh, quarter to eight uh, p.m. on the 12th of January. So the market's still open. The American market's still open. So we're going to close Renai. Yeah, so we've still got all these open. There's, there's so many. That's not the American markets. But that's fine. 
pending close and we'll come back well for you it'll be instantaneously it'll be now but um i'll, I'll see you in a, in a day or two okay so it's now the next morning it's the 13th of january uh, 8.52 a.m. Um, and as you can see, uh, Renway has disappeared. So <clears throat> what we're going to do now, uh, let's go to watch list. Uh, let's go on S-Man. And uh, what we'll do is go on virtual, just quickly. So yesterday when I was looking at S-Man's portfolio, for some reason, uh, where is it? For some reason, I, I calculated him at $260 as the minimum. Um, I had to look through all the, the 12 new people that I added to my watch list yesterday, um, looked at what they're, they're trading in their portfolio, and put them on my virtual portfolio as, you know, as uh, the minimum. So whatever minimum they would be. So, I mean, for example, you got... Uh, this is one of the new guys, put him in as 500 because the minimum trade he had open would have to be 500 to get all the open trades and so on. I did that for all, all these guys here. The S-Man I did 260, but I've just re-looked at his, at his stuff. Um, S-Man. And the minimum trade that he has is 0.32%. I see there's a lot of free two percent here, but take my word for it. Um, eighty percent of of his portfolio here is the minimum zero point three two percent. So if we go one hundred divided by zero point three two percent, three hundred twelve is the minimum, not two sixty. So when I closed Renault, I had what was it two hundred ninety six dollars down here. Um, I need free twenty really. Um, to copy S-Man. So I'll just put in an extra $50. So we're going to go with, uh, where's this man? S-Man. We're going to copy open trades. And we're going to go 320. 320, copy open trades. And go. Cool, 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 cool. I mean, that is... That is quite a lot of money. I mean, Jay, who's, who's my fave, he's there uh, on 330, and then the rest is 200, 200. So, I mean, he's asking for quite a lot. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm expecting and hoping for good things from S-Man. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, that does it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Cheers.